The Logan 750 Simplex Plus mat cutter features a 40-inch baseboard, a hinging guide rail, and a laminated board surface. Also included is a 27-inch squaring arm and a parallel mat guide that rides in aluminum channels that are held in place with machine screws. Cutting heads include a bevel and straight cutting head, plus three production stops. To install the parallel mat guide, you must first install the aluminum channels. Each channel has a rounded end. The rounded ends need to face inward. Press both channels into the baseboard. Stand the baseboard on its edge. Insert the screws from the underside of the board to secure the aluminum channels in place. To install the parallel mat guide, see that both knobs are loose in three or four turns and drop both sides into the channels at the same time. To install the 27 inch squaring arm, first remove both screws from the baseboard slot. One screw holds the lineup tool. Place the 27 inch squaring arm into the baseboard slot and replace the screws, but do not tighten them. Now use the lineup tool. The lineup tool sees that the slot in the baseboard is perfectly aligned with the slot in the squaring arm. Once that's installed, now you can fully retighten the screws. But make sure you remove the lineup tool before using the machine. Save it for later use. To bevel cut a 3 inch border on a piece of mat board, first adjust the mat guide to the 3 inch mark and tighten both knobs in place. Always use a backing sheet when bevel cutting. Place your mat board blank into the machine color side down against the mat guide and down against the squaring arm. Use a pencil to draw all four lines on the back of the mat board. Use the bevel cutting head and hook it onto the edge of the guide rail at the far line. Line up the start and stop indicator on the back of the cutting head along the pencil line drawn. Insert the anti-crawl pin, rotate the blade into the mat board, release the pin, and pull back stopping on your lower line. Rotate the blade out after each cut. Continue that process for the remaining three sides. After the fourth cut, the window will drop from the mat and you'll have a perfectly beveled 3-inch bordered mat. Notice the perfect 90-degree corners and the bevel cut edges. To cut the same mat using a single production stop, install a production stop onto the guide rail and lock it at 3 inches. Insert a color side down piece of mat board into the machine and draw one pencil line. Rotate the mat a quarter turn to the right and hook the bevel cutting head onto the guide rail. Line up the start and stop indicator on the back of the cutting head with the pencil drawn line. Insert the anti-crawl pin, insert the blade and release the pin, pulling straight back to your bottom production stop. As you rotate the mat to the right, the cut line you just made in the back of the mat board tells you where to start your next cut. Continue this process all remaining sides. After the fourth cut, the window will drop free from the mat, leaving you with a perfect 3-inch bordered mat. To make a straight cut, first remove any production stops from the machine. Also remove the parallel mat guide and the backing sheet. You can use your squaring arm stop when straight cutting. Install it onto the squaring arm and slide it to the number you wish to use. 
Insert a blank piece of mat board into the machine, color side down against the stop. Set the guide rail down, and using the straight cutter, hook it onto the edge of the guide rail, firmly grasp and pull back towards yourself, making the straight cut. To cut a 3-inch border mat using both production stops, first adjust your parallel mat guide to the 3-inch mark and tighten both knobs in place. Always use a backing sheet. Insert your mat board blank into the machine color side down and install both production stops onto the guide rail. The bottom production stop can be immediately set to the 3-inch mark. Now mark one line with a pencil. Turn the mat a quarter turn to the right and install the bevel cutting head onto the guide rail. Again, line up the start and stop indicator with the drawn pencil line. Before cutting, slide the top production stop down until it makes contact with the bevel cutting head and tighten in place. The machine is now set for one side of the mat to be cut with two production stops. To make the cut, use the anti-crawl pin and rotate the blade holder into the mat board. Pull back until you make gentle contact with the bottom stop. Because the machine is set for the short sides only, you must rotate the mat 180 degrees. This two production stop cutting system is best used when cutting multiple numbers of mats that are the same size with same size borders. Set aside this half finished mat board blank and insert a fresh piece. Continue making all the short side cuts. To readjust for the long side cut, loosen the top production stop, insert one of the half finished blanks into the machine with the long side along the parallel mat guide. Line up the start and stop indicator on the cutting head with the top cut line. Bring the production stop down until it makes gentle contact with the cutting head and tighten in place. Your machine now is reset to recut all the long sides.